Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are once again in the glorious fields of battle of Napoleon Total War Online with a huge 4v4 battle on Italian grasslands. Sent in again by Carl von Clausewitz, so you can be sure that this is going to be high quality action here. Carl von Clausewitz, a great friend to the channel, sending in a lot of replays recently, which is fantastic. And you always know you're going to get a very high quality battle when he sends them in. So thank you, Carl, once again. But let's see this unholy alliance with Carl starting as Prussia, allied with Portugal, the Ottomans, and Sweden. A very weird alliance there with the opposition full of French armies and an Ottoman army as well. So two rival Ottoman factions going back to back fighting here. So let's go through the army compositions. As always, guys, if you want to skip this part, the chapters will be down below. And because it's a 4v4, it will be a long one today, but I'll try and get through it as quick as I can. So starting with Karl's army as the Prussians, he has four of the glorious Prussian fusiliers, the light infantry of the Prussians. He has four of the musketeers, the standard line infantry of the Prussians, ready to go there, waving their flag, ready to fight. He's got one of the 8th Life Regiment, very elite regiment here. Even though they do look pretty similar to the line infantry, these guys are an incredibly elite regiment, as well as three, a whole three of the glorious, beautiful looking foot guards over here with the... Uh, the big pom-poms on their head. I don't know what you call that in actual terminology. But yeah, looking absolutely fantastic as usual as well. Cavalry-wise, he's got a few different cavalries. He's got four of the standard lancers as well as one of the Brandenburg Uhlans. Look at these guys. I love the look. The all-black look of these guys. It's fantastic. As well as one of the Tawarski... The Tau... Tower, the Tower of Cheese, the Tower, the Tower of Cheese, the Tower of Cheese, the Tower of Cheese unit is over here as well, and a standard general's bodyguard. Now on to Portugal, guys. Portugal has three of the standard Casadores unit, or Casador Fez. I, I, I don't know, Caz Casadores, yeah, Casadores, Cathadores, probably in in Portuguese, but uh, yeah, someone who's Portuguese can comment down below or Brazilian. Uh, but yeah, the brown units of the Cazadores over here as the light infantry of Portugal. He's got three of those. He's got 11, a whole 11 of the standard Portuguese infantry looking very dapper in those all blue uniforms. As well as four of the Portuguese cavalry all in blue and grey as well with the gold, uh, the gold highlights there looking very nice. Indeed. One thing to note with this army, guys, is he's added in experience to a lot of these troops. So they all have a little bit of experience to start with, which is quite cool. And that's likely because these troops are a lot cheaper than some of the bigger nations' troops that you can get. Now, onto this Ottoman faction, where we have, I believe, three or two of the Nizam e Kadet. I think it's two of the Nizam e Kadet. Uh, light infantry. So he's got two of the standard light infantry, as well as two of the rifles with a huge long range. Look at that bad boy. You would not want to be firing that because your shoulder would be absolutely destroyed. But yeah, <laughs> they've got two of those, as well as six of the standard infantry for the Ottomans looking awesome, as well as five, I believe, of the Janissaries, the Kemat Janissaries looking very, very cool indeed. Look at those boys, ready to slice and dice their way through the enemy faction. As well as one of the Bashi Bazooks, which are here behind. Pretty much a militia unit, but they also want to slice and dice their way through the enemy. Two of the Silitar Guard over here in this melee. You can see them there with their helms on. These guys, uh, yeah, it's, uh, no, sorry, these guys with the chainmail helms on looking very cool indeed. One of the Sipahi cavalry, another very elite cavalry, uh, or the Sifai cavalry, should I say. The Sifai cavalry looking very elite, and one of the Delhi horsemen as well, and the standard general's bodyguard. Now, onto the final 
um, uh, final army of this unholy alliance, and it's quite a simple one as well. We have nine of the infantry for Sweden, nine of the standard infantry, three of the foot guards, or the lifeguards of foot for the Swedish there. Nice top hat there, looking very nice. And seven, yes, seven of the mounted Jaegers. So overall, a pretty good balance in all the armies there. We've got melee troops. We've got a bit of uh, light infantry. And we've also got an overwhelming number of normal infantry. Now let's uh, go on to the French and Ottoman side. And now this is very different. They are very elite. Very elite, these armies that we have. We have the 6th. Uh, uh, light regiment, uh, regiment d'infanterie légère that we've had quite a few times. And I believe he's got another couple of light infantries in these trees over here. As well as four of the glorious Swiss foot. There's one of the voltageurs, yep. Yeah. Uh, four of the glorious Swiss foot. Looking very nice indeed. Representing France over here. As well as two of the young guard. The elite boyos of France. The ones that have not done quite enough tours to get into the old guard yet, but they have fought in many wars already. And three, three, yes, whole three of the boys of the French army, the old guard, the real elite unit, the best unit, I would say, in the game. Fantastic, fantastic unit. And one of the guard seamen, a unit that we very rarely see in multiplayer but look at that uniform that has got to be probably the coolest uniform i've got to say of any of the units in the game apart from maybe the pavlovsky grenadiers for the russians but for me that is one of the coolest units he also has just a normal general staff so on to the second of the armies so he has six, the 6th regiment d'enfantry légère so kind of awkward there's two of these on the battlefield at the minute Three of the standard chasseurs for the French army. The lights there. And then the infantry is very, very split. We have four of the Swiss foot in here. Here you see them. Ready to go in column formation. Very much like the French would have done in the real Napoleonic Wars. And we have the Polish Legion next to them as well. Looking very cool with those hats on as well. Uh, one of the guard seamen. So we've got more guard seamen everywhere. And we have two of the glorious old guard ready to go. So you can see very, very elite force over here. As well as a couple of the chasseur a cheval. I think three. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, three. And then two of the cheval leger lancers. Looking very cool indeed and the big boy marshal ney is here on the fight ready to fight one of my favorite french marshals from the napoleonic wars the hot-headed angry frenchman that uh manned so many charges at waterloo against squares that uh one of the uh british regiments actually i can't remember which one exactly got their square down to the point where they were fighting back to back. And it's actually the only regiment now in the British Army that wears its beret badge on the back of its beret because of that. A little bit of trivia for you there. I can't quite ex remember exactly which regiment it was. Uh, so not full trivia, but a little bit of trivia anyway. Now on to the third French Army. And this one it really is a bit of a mix. He has a militia in here, one of the glorious militia units, as well as the National Guard, another militia unit, looking kind of cool with their revolutionary cockades on their head, looking very cool indeed, although they're not going to look cool as soon as they get into the action. He's got two of the standard fusiliers, if we can find them in here somewhere. Uh, where are you, fusiliers? There you are, fusiliers of the line. He's got two of the Polish Legion, who we've already seen. There they are. They're looking very nice indeed. Two of the glorious Young Guard. And two, again, of the brutal Old Guard, ready to fight. Four of the Chasseurs à Cheval, one of the best cavalry units in the game for the price. And Dragoons, as well as a normal general staff. Now, the Ottoman army across this side, very good as well. Eight of the standard infantry, the Nizam e Kadet infantry, four of the Nizam e Kadet light infantry as well, and two of the Komat Janissaries. Very cool indeed. As well as two of the mounted Nizam e Kadet uh, mounted Nizam e Kadet cavalry, 
looking awesome. And we have two of the Sifai cavalry. Look at them. Look at them. Ready to... I mean, this guy. You would be scared seeing this guy on the battlefield. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. But anyway, one of the Silatar guards. Very nice indeed. And the standard general's bodyguard. So without further ado, let's get this battle underway. Very interesting map, Italian grasslands. The... Doesn't look like there'd be a lot of choke points, but generally when you play this, it feels so much more claustrophobic than it looks. It plays a lot more claustrophobically than it looks. And we can see the uh, the cavalry coming out to fight in the middle. Although uh, Carl himself has left his cavalry... Oh no, sorry, that's the wrong one. Has got his cavalry on the way now, coming round this, this uh, little rock here. And it looks like he's going to try and cut off the Ottomans here. But we can see the French cavalry really coming forward in numbers as the first shots come from the Chasseur et Cheval. The Ottoman player, I think, has got to engage these guys in melee because they'll be so much better. But standing off them, he's going to get absolutely shredded. Here come the Portuguese cavalry, though. Straight into the fight. Look at that, going straight into the Chasseur et Cheval. The Portuguese cavalry should have the advantage, as I said, in melee. But uh, the Chasseur et Cheval, for the price of them, are a fantastic unit. And you can see the Ottomans charging into these Chevro Leger Lancers. Now, the Lancers in this game, especially online, are fantastic on the charge. Absolutely unreal on the charge. But as soon as the, uh, yeah, as soon as they see um, uh, a melee fight, they, they really start to struggle. But you can see the Ottomans over here pushing forward as well. And, uh, yeah, the uh, Prussian units coming forward to try and pressurize the uh, Ottomans on this far side. If we move all the way across to this flank, you can see these Chasseurs are going in for the Mounted Jaegers over here, but they're going for the Swedish general as he's not actually paying too much attention to what's happening, but he's bringing his cavalry back down the middle. Let me, uh, just give me one second, guys. I'm going to just uh, go to the audio. And, yeah, let's... Uh, just turn everything off, then turn it back on. And let's see whether the gunshots are now firing. For some reason, you can hear the gunshots are not going on right now. It's very weird. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll hear them in a second. It's probably just a bit of a sound bug. I have had this bug before, but I can't remember how to change it. Just give me one second, guys. Right, well, we might have to just go through the battle without the sounds of muskets. <laughs> but just the sounds of... Oh, no, here we go. The muskets have started firing now. But you can see on this far left-hand flank, as the chaos erupts along the lines, as the Prussians are really, really pushing here. Carl is really pushing. And you can see, he does not have much to really combat this flank over here, as the Portuguese are just holding in the center. But look at this. Here comes the big charge by the Janissaries. Really massive charge. And honestly, these hills are so much more dangerous than you think. If you can take one of these, you've got kind of uh, at liberty to, to kind of surround the enemy uh, and fire down from these hills onto them. But look at the Janissaries going forward. Come on, the boys. Charging into 6th Regiment d'Enfantrie Legere. Come on, the boys. Let's go. Look at them go. And the Silatar Guard as well. Absolutely glorious. But let's take a quick look what's happening on the Prussian side over here. Oh, very nice indeed. He's flanked, managed to flank his whole way round as volleys rain out upon the Nizam Kader infantry. Look at these boys. Wave that flag. Wave that flag in the breeze while I just quickly take a little screenshot. <laughs> Definitely not going to be the thumbnail. Um, but yes, the Portuguese are smashing in the middle. So we can see it's pretty much a stalemate on this far right-hand side, guys. Um... You can see the cavalry is really just covering this flank off that the French really need to start to try and exploit and come around the back of the Swedish. The Swedish do have a lot of infantry, as we can see, but it also has a massive amount of cavalry. So uh, really going to be a hard work for that French player to get around. But the main action is happening up here in the middle on the hill as the Janissaries are really starting to push into the French territory. Uh, very nice indeed. But let's have a look back. At Carl's side. Oh, and he's just pushing his way 
through this Ottoman army. Look at the charge. Here come the Lancers straight through the Ottoman infantry. Wow, look at that. And they're getting absolutely shredded. These uh, light infantry can't form square. So it's a brave light infantry for standing there against the Prussian cavalry as volleys come into them. Look at that. All down the line, volleys are firing into the enemy as the foot guards lead the charge down the flank. Look at these boys. What a fantastic, fantastic sight to see. But you can see the Ottomans really, really starting to be a little bit ragged here in their defense. And they are scrambling to come back as the Portuguese push in the middle to try and stop him removing troops from this side. How has the fight happened in the middle? The Ottomans have managed to take this hill and you can see that's going to allow them to flank around this side as stalemate still exists on this far right-hand flank. But look at that. Really, really nice bit of play here. Pushing the Janissaries up the hill to try and take it. And now he's going to push his infantry into the flank of the enemy. Look at that. Glorious. Glorious sight to see as we take another screenshot for the boys. Let's go. I love this game. I love online on this game. But the Prussians, this is really a huge, huge flanking move. And look at that. Unfortunately, the Prussian Fusiliers are going to get caught out. But look at that charge. The mounted Nizam Kadet just shredded that unit. Almost halved it there. What an absolutely brutal charge. But they are slowly going to get shot to pieces. Look at that. Fantastic shots there into the enemy as the mounted Nizam Kadet charge again. Really just scrambling to try and push the Prussians back. But at this point... They've got so many men around this flank that it's really not going to happen. What is happening up here? The young guard. The young guard have charged across the hilltop. Uh, the, across the hilltop at the enemy. So it's kind of hilltop for the Ottomans and hilltop for the French now. Really um, interesting situation here where we've got Portuguese troops along this, this center. But the French are re retreating. So all they're doing here is just pushing... Uh, where they don't need to push as this flank is just crumbling beneath the Prussians. What a glorious battle so far. Are we going to see a gl Here we are. Here comes the volley, boys. Fire! Fire! Yes, glorious. Firing into the infantry as they're getting whittled down by the Prussians here. Glorious fighting going on all across the line. And it's a very, very weird battle map now. If we just slow that down for a second, we can see, talking about the tactics... You can see this French player has actually pushed in the middle quite far up. But look how cut off they are. All it needs is for Carl to break this little corner here. And this French uh, mountaintop is just going to be cut off from the rest of everyone. And it looks like what that's what Portugal is doing now. As we see more action along the right-hand flank now, finally. As the Swedish have... That, that, that is a bit of a duke of a move, as you can see, because the Swedish had most of their infantry down here. And now they've just swung their infantry around this side to push back these sort of overextended French units. Although he has very elite units, look at the amount of infantry the Swedish, the Swedish have here. It's crazy. He's going to be really, really piling on the pressure. And I don't think these French units are going to be able to withstand it for much longer. But he does have his three old guard in reserve there. And they are really the reserves normally of most, uh, of most French armies in the Napoleonic era. They would regularly, regularly, if I can speak, complain um, about not being sent into the battle. Because Napoleon would wait till the last moment to send them in to deal the decisive blow. Uh, but they would, they would, they would uh, notoriously grumbly about not being sent into, uh, into the fight or the vanguard, uh, which, if you ask me, is a bit of a blessing. Honestly, not being sent in the vanguard, <laughs> but not to the old guard. That's just how hardcore they are. But you can see it's kind of weird now. We've got a bit of a, a big flank here, and we've got a bit of a flank by the red team up on this far side, on the right flank, as we look at the battlefield from Carl's side. Um, but I think the Swedish are going to have plenty enough to fight them back. So let's uh, click back on play. Just a big talk about tactics there, but very nice. And here come the uh, Prussian Fusiliers. And you can notice that he's not putting them in, um, in skirmish formation at the minute. Uh, just because they do fire some dense blocks of volleys 
if you leave them outside of skirmish formation. And at the minute, it's not really needed to put them in skirmish formation because the enemy is not putting their light infantry in skirmish. But you can see the Ottomans are going to take the L and go and just run from the enemy. Please don't tell me that, that Marshal Ney has died. No! Marshal Ney, where are you? It looks like Marshal Ney has died. He's died! No! Marshal Ney. Well, in this universe, uh, Marshal Ney did not die by being shot against the post. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Right. Let's uh, carry on. Let's have a look. Uh, this, this flanking maneuver has been brutal, and it has been efficient. And really, the Ottomans and the French are just caught. Look at that. Nearly fully surrounded, nearly encircled here. Really brilliant maneuvering from Karl along this left flank. As well as the Portuguese player holding the French and uh, the Ottomans back in the middle. While the Ottomans have now taken this, uh, this hill and are just holding it for the time being. Because they know if this army dies along this flank, if these two armies are broken, then the right hand army is no problem whatsoever. But plenty of brutal firing and fighting going on along the lines of the Swedish and the French down here in the middle. And the old guard are actually taking some serious damage down here. But a very glorious, glorious firefight going on. But the Ottomans have plenty of troops waiting in the wings. And look at this. The Portuguese player is running his men, trying to cut them off from escaping. And that is going to be the most important thing here, is cutting them off from their escape as the uh, Prussian Fusiliers are now... It oh, and he's just pressed fire. We just got to witness that. That was beautiful. What a glorious volley there into the light infantry as he's just opened fire with all his troops there, Carl. Fantastic. Look at those glorious, glorious shots going in. Oh, I, I just pressed over there as the push just keeps on coming. You can see the Portuguese infantry really just cutting them off. But here comes a delegation of elite French troops ready to try and break the Portuguese and send them back. We do have Ottomans here to try and help as well. But along this flank, again, it's just slowly and steadily increasing the pace in which the Swedish are moving forward. Plenty of glorious units down here. The guard seamen fighting against the lifeguards of foot for the Swedish there as the old guard slowly wait for their chance to get into the battle. And here they are. Here they are. They're ready to fire a glorious volley. Look at that. Bang! Straight into the line infantry there. Really, really brutal. Brutal fighting. This old guard is going to push these guys back. No problem if they're left unattended to. But glorious fighting all along the line as we see more and more troops being flanked. What a glorious battle this has been so far. What a fantastic battle, honestly. Uh, but look, the Portuguese have retreated slightly, trying uh, to push back this Polish legion. But once again, it looks like the French player is going to overextend themselves and leave themselves vulnerable. Because look at this gap in this uh, in the line over here. What a fantastic um, moves by the Portuguese and Carl himself. Oh, look. The uh, Janissaries are going for a glorious charge against the general. But they rout before they can do anything. Oh, unlucky to the Janissaries. But how did they make it through there? I don't know. <laughs> Fair play. As the, uh, the light infantry are having a rest from the solid fighting they've seen the whole way through this battle. Look at these boys. The foot guards ready to fight. Glorious fighting. The National Guard have stayed around till 30 men. Wow, that is impressive because they are a militia unit. So they should not be able to stick around for too long. But the French player over here is desperately trying to break the Portuguese player. And break a hole in the line of uh, the unholy alliance over here. But wow, I don't think that's going to happen. We've got young guards against Portuguese infantry. The young guards should win, but they are down to 50 men. So they have just taken an absolute battering over here. The old guard down to 30 men. They have taken an absolute battering, and there's not much else that they're going to be able to do against the Portuguese down there on the side. Look at this flank, though. Very, very close to being over. The French are trying to retreat. But there's really not much they can do. This whole army, nearly two armies, have been destroyed in that glorious flank. So let's have a look 
up here. We've got the Swedish cavalry charging into the old guard. Brave men that they are. Wow. Glorious charge there as he's trying to run his old guard out. But this old guard down to 30 men is not going to be able to stand up. And just the sheer mass of the Swedish infantry, not necessarily how good they are, but just the mass of Swedish infantry has really put the hammer down on those French forces that came at them piecemeal. And that was the main problem. If he'd have committed fully with his French forces, I think he would have been able to do a bit more damage. But coming at the uh, Swedish piecemeal did not necessarily uh, yield the greatest results there. But here, the uh, Polish Legion and the Portuguese are still fighting uh, down uh, in this area. Still getting surrounded, but nearly fully surrounded now as the Blue Armies just start to overrun the remaining French and Ottoman forces here. What a glorious battle, anyway. Very, very tactical once again, and we love to see that as the Janissaries charge into the Swiss foot there. Look at that. What a glorious sight. As the horse run past without a rider anymore. Come on, the Janissaries. Let's go. Keep charging, my men. Keep charging. Glorious straight into the Swiss foot there. Really carving a path through the enemy. Look at this. Not much left now. Just some fusiliers of the line. And uh, Karl's Prussian troops are going to be fighting against the last two couple of Polish legions and militia over here as well. Glorious to see as the troops are just being mopped up all across this battlefield. I mean, the guard seamen have stuck around for a very long time. Uh, and they are running. Where are they running? They're going for the charge against the lifeguards of foot. One final glorious charge by the seamen. Fantastic. Glorious to see as the rest of the armies just mop up the remaining troops of the enemies. That's another general dead. Oh, look at the Nizam Kader infantry. Poor guys just getting picked off as they're trying to escape. But no, here they come. That poor Swiss foot as well just ran into him, just got stabbed. There he is. Oh, there's only one. They're chasing after him. Come on, son. You can make it. You can do it. Oh, my God. This is the most exciting part of the whole battle. Will they catch him? No, I'm joking. Uh, but no. Fantastic. That Swiss foot has has fought to the last remaining man. Wow, look at this. Volleys coming into their own general. Clearly, the Prussian troops have no love for their own general. He's a hard taskmaster, it would seem, as they fire volleys towards his location. And glorious. The battle is now done. And, Carl, you can see 1,300. The uh, Ottoman player as well, 1,312. I can imagine a lot of those kills coming with his melee troops slicing and dicing their way along the middle uh, hill there. That was very cool to see. Portuguese did really well as well, just holding the line so that it allowed Carl to flank around. And the Swedish did really well on that flank as well, doing the old switcheroo, uh, presenting a weak flank and then flooding it with troops. Very nice indeed. Some great uh, performances down here as well, of course. This uh, this French and uh, Ottoman player doing really well. Uh, so great performance overall by everyone. What a great battle. But let's have a look at some of the best, uh, the most amount of kills. Wow, 182 for this foot guard unit. That is superb. And 178 for a musketeer. That's even more impressive with less lost. As well as some more musketeers. Musketeers doing the heavy lifting today, guys. The, uh, the light uh, line infantry doing most of the damage. Uh, very, very cool indeed. Even the general staff getting 22 kills there as well. Well, what a fantastic battle. So thanks to Carl once again for this glorious battle. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.